What's up, this is GM, and before I start, I want to tell you about TubeBuddy. In case you don't know, TubeBuddy is a free website that will help you manage and grow your YouTube channel. Thanks to them, some of my videos even show up as top results. Want to give them a try? Check the description below for the link. Today's product is Mookie's Amplifier. So in the box, it came with the amplifier, a manual that was in multiple languages, including English, a controller, and an antenna so you can use it for the radio. So the system has a 220 watt peak power that can work with two speakers at once. It uses Bluetooth 4.0 with a range of 40 feet or 12 meters. It supports multiple inputs and outputs, which I'll show in a bit. For now, I'm gonna go over the front panel. In the back, I have a speaker. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to actually connect it a little bit later to show you how you can use it as a, uh, how you can use it to pretty much both Bluetooth as well as connect it through wires to a speaker if that is what you plan on using it for. However, like I said, you can connect it through Bluetooth. So usually what I would do is I connect it with my phone through Bluetooth and connect this to the speaker via wire. So that way it's kind of like a conduit. However, the speaker I have in the background does work via Bluetooth as well, but I'm using it just for the purposes of this video. I won't be using the Bluetooth function on the speaker. I will keep it on the aux option so that way all of the pretty much signals are going through the amplifier receiver itself. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this front panel. So over here we have the on off. You can use it with an SD card as well as USB. Right here you can connect a 6.3 cable, um, millimeter cable, not a 3.5. 3.5 will be on the right, which I'll show in a bit. So for example, I actually got this because I have a karaoke set that I like to use it with. So what I would do is, is I connect, the karaoke set uses a 3.5 to 6.5 cable. So, or sorry, 6.3 cable, my bad. So I would plug that into one of these two for the mic one or mic two. And then the thing that I was talking about, the karaoke set has its own receiver. So it sends the signals through this into the speaker because my speaker didn't, the speaker that I originally had didn't have a 6.3 outlet. So that was the purpose of me buying this originally was for karaoke purposes. But that is beside the point. I just wanted to point out that that might be one use for why you might need these three ports. All right, so let's just scroll over here a bit. So here we just have the display. Here you can switch modes, Bluetooth, you know, auto channel, plus or minus, go back, go forward a song, play, pause, all the general stuff. Here you can control mic volume if you're using, again, a karaoke mic. Here is for echo, bass, treble, and balance. I'm just gonna scroll over a little bit more. And then here we have two knobs for controlling the master volume and the track. And then down here, you have the aux point. So if you were to use an aux cable, 3.5 millimeter aux cable, you can to connect it with, again, a phone or whatever device you may be using. And then here as well to switch between DVD, CD, aux, MP3, and Bluetooth for your input. So now I'm going to go ahead and flip it over so you can see the back. And this is where you're going to be putting all of the output. So first off, here is where the FM antenna would go. I haven't been using it for that, so that's why I haven't actually set it up. But I do know it works because I did connect it once just as is to see if it would work, and it worked just fine. Over here are the different inputs, and, or I mean all the different outputs. And what I will do is, is I will connect my speaker, which I have in the back, to the line out right here for these two. You also have inputs here for a DVD and CD player, but we won't be looking at that because it will work in the same fashion. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to pause the video, set it up with my speaker, and I will show the back so that way you can see it's hooked up, and then I will show you the front as well. All right, so just to go ahead and show you, what I've done is I've plugged in the RCA cable right here. So I put it into the line out right here to connect it to the speaker. And I will go ahead and turn this around for you. All right, so I have plugged it into both the speaker and the outlet to turn it on. Remember, you just have to push this in. 
as you can see, it's turning on. The reason I'm not showing the whole panel is because you don't really need to see it all. The main things were just here, and actually, I'll show you the master volume as well. Uh, just to keep in mind, for my, I'm gonna turn down the volume because sometimes, I can't remember the order of the modes, but sometimes, there we go. Okay, so now we're on Bluetooth. So just to keep in mind, my speaker has its own volume knobs. So I put the volume at half on the speaker, just so it's not blasting right off the bat. And I turn this down for now. And just to show you exactly which device you're connecting to, I've already connected mine. So let's see if you can kind of see that. So it's the Muki MAMP1 and I've already connected mine. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and go to a video of mine and press play. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume down all the way just to be safe. And you wanna make sure you have this flipped to the correct setting. So you might at first not hear volume because it's not set to the correct setting. So for me, it's gonna be aux, or no, sorry, it's gonna be Bluetooth, which is all the way on the right. And now I'm gonna go ahead and press play and turn up the volume just a little bit. All right, so it gets really loud, and I, like I said, I have my back speaker only set to half, and this set pretty low right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and play a little bit more just so you can hear it a little bit. Hey everyone, this is GM with another product. This is Ree's RK100 Plus gaming keyboard. The so you should be able to hear that pretty well. This works very, I've tried pairing it with two speakers before as well, and it worked just fine as well. There wasn't any lag between the one one speaker and another. There's also no difference in, uh, or there's no lag between the audio going through Bluetooth through the amplifier and then into the speaker. So those aren't things you're gonna really have to worry about. At least I didn't find any issues with that myself. Overall, I think this is a great little system to have, especially if you're using it for karaoke, which again is the reason I got it. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Link to this product will be in the description below. Be sure to leave any comments below for any questions you may have. Thanks for watching. See you all next time.